Why is Rufflet banned in competitive Little Cup Pokemon? Rufflet has great stats for a Little Cup Pokemon, a powerful ability in Hustle, and good moves like Brave Bird, Bulk Up, Close Combat, and Roost. But why was Rufflet only banned in Generation 8? In earlier generations, it still had the powerful stats and Hustle, but it was always an average Pokemon at best. What changed for Rufflet? Also, we're trying to make Little Cup Open the biggest Smogon tournament of all time. We have currently gotten 1,000 signups in 12 hours, which is double every other open, but that's not enough. We're going for the best of all time, so our goal is 2,562 signups by the end of this week. So check out my video regarding this movement and make sure to sign up for the Little Cup Open. I'm hoping that if you're watching a video about Rufflet, you're probably interested enough to sign up. In Sword and Shield Little Cup, Rufflet used three main movesets. Choice Ban, Choice Scarf, and Bulk Up Roost. Choice Ban is an interesting idea because usually you don't use Choice Ban in Little Cup. More often than not, you would rather use Life Orb because the damage difference is negligible and Life Orb Recoil only does 5%. But in the case of Rufflet, you would rather use Choice Ban because Rufflet is already weak to Stealth Rock and already takes damage from Brave Bird Recoil. Adding in Life Orb's Recoil makes it not worth it, especially when Choice Banded Hustle Brave Bird is already a monster and you probably don't want to switch. Only the tankiest Pokemon can even handle Choice Banded Rufflet like Onyx, but even they faint if Rufflet predicts and uses close combat. The only thing keeping Rufflet manageable was its own Brave Bird Recoil. The risk of missing Brave Bird because of Hustle was well worth it because of the high reward. Choice Scarf was similar. It still had a lot of power but was also one of the faster Choice Scarf Pokemon, now outspeeding Pokemon like Diglett or Abra. The other set it used was an Eviolite Bulk Up Roost moveset. This set would use Bulk Up, Roost, Close Combat in either Aerial Ace or Brave Bird. You could also replace Roost with Agility and use a Berry Juice for healing, which was just as powerful. The idea here was to use Rufflet's already insane bulk to become an unstoppable and powerful tank. It was often used in combination with Sticky Web teams to slow down Pokemon. Rufflet was banned originally in early Sword and Shield Little Cup, but was tested to see if it could come back to Little Cup once a new DLC dropped and added Pokemon like Mianfu, Staryu, and Abra. Rufflet was still overpowered, however, and the unban was rejected. But for all these merits, it seems strange that Rufflet was only an average Pokemon in earlier generations. Why was that? In Generation 6 and before, Rufflet didn't actually have Brave Bird, which was a huge part of its power, so that's an easy answer. But in Generation 7, Rufflet did get Brave Bird. One reason is that by Generation 7, Rufflet still didn't have Close Combat, so it had to use Super Power, which is similar but slightly worse, because the attack drop means you could miss out on some 2-hit KOs. There were also some metagame factors. There were more flying resists like Scarf Magnemite, because when Magnemite had Hidden Power Fire, it was common because it could trap Pharaoh Seed. Nowadays, Magnemite is uncommon. Ghastly was also very good in Generation 7 and could throw off powerful attacks versus the slower bulk up sets. Or it could use Substitute on Rufflet locked into Super Power. Z-Moves also meant that it was tougher for bulky Rufflet to get going and could always be revenge killed by something like Z-Moves Staryu. Overall, the differences in the metagame just made it not worth it. Rufflet is in a more challenging environment to set up in, and a more challenging environment to just spam powerful attacks. The risk of using a Hustle Pokemon like Rufflet was not worth the reward in Generation 7. If you really wanted a powerful flying type, you would rather just use Z Flying Wallaby. But that's the story of how Rufflet became an overpowered Pokemon in Generation 8 Little Cup.